Okay, this is a quick recap of how to do or build a trust now on your robot and also implement it uh, on simulation using a single analysis. So if you check your documentation on Rust Wiki, you will see the information about uh, a trust line. The problem right now, uh, it will be solved later. There is no branch associated with Melodic on the Rust Wiki. So you have to be from the source. When you go to the Ectoris line GitHub repository, you have to get the Niantic development branch that is here, where is Niantic, Niantic development branch. So how you do that? Well, you have to make a workspace. I made a workspace. Um, And download uh, the package here. The catch is, if you want to download the Niantic development branch, you have to git clone the name of the repo and minus b Niantic develop because the branch is called Niantic develop and this is the branch that we need to build Hector Slam. Another, th another thing to to do here is to overlay package so for example source dash rc and I do that and I do echo ross package path sorry I only source my ROS folder uh, for do that for sourcing on an overlaying package you first uh, need to delete let's say uh, the current development uh, folder so here for example you will it rmr develop and you are sourcing right now the ROS package package path with up ROS analytics share when you build over uh, the package over this ROS, ROS package path it will append the package uh, the package path to the ROS package path so it will do up an append. For example, just uh, telling you right now, easy. That's what uh, you expect to be when you do that. I will source my here without setup hash cross package. So I source Hector workspace, also my robot workspace, also cartographer workspace, and also the most workspace. So let's do a quick demonstration of the uh, Hector SLAM and finally explain how to implement it. So source uh, Hector setup. Okay, now we will launch the simulation only just to see. We don't want to run a Hector Slam a lot. Let's launch Jetbot Zero, Spawn Jetbot, and the world name. And let's use Okay. Worlds and world, I think. And that's um, okay. Let's see if it loads. Here, here we have our jetbot in our uh, house world and let's see the slam method let's launch jetbot slam jetbot slam dot launch um, slam modes slam methods 
Hector. You will see a uh, initial error sometimes. It depends. That's because uh, we launch the the node a few seconds later, 30 seconds later. Well, it will disappear because it will be spawned in the or or published in the UTF. So uh, in the end, you have to. Oops, uh, source. Let's source the Java workspace. And launch a controller. Was launch the book control. Let's see echo. And Jetbook Control is a package, uh, the RC one for uh, twist to the operation, and this one the RQT level steering that you can access from the RQT interface. So let's see if we can control the robot. Let's see if we can move it. Okay, the robot is rotating. And you see here it is rotating also. Stop the rotation and start moving the robot. A little faster, to the left. Okay. So let me stop here. When you are then satisfied with the uh, a lot of inertia. When you are satisfied then with the, the map, then you can save it. For example, you do a map saver. From the map server, let's run map server map saver minus f and the name of the map. I build one map, I will not save it, and I will only show you the map. Let's see the space mm. source jetbot dog maps house. And here it is, it's a partial map using MapSaver. So that's all. It's just to to show you how to implement it extra slam. Oh, okay, let's see how we implement it. That's very important. I will close all those windows. Okay, pretty easy, simple. We have a configuration file. It's the same of the G mapping. Also, we cannot put emulink, IMU link, sorry, in the tracking frame because it will throw an error. So we have to put base footprint. But we can we have to specify those practically are these parameters to to make the node act. Next, if we see the the launch file from the slam, it's not very different. I decided to remove the arguments and move it inside the, the situation of the slam method. So it will be a little bit uh, uh, longer in the launch file uh, visually. So let's see for Hector Slam, it's pretty simple. We have here some configuration parameters, but the parameters that are here are displaying on the bus wiki and are pretty simple to understand. We have to specify which is the other frame, the best frame. We also can do it outside. So I I prefer to put it inside. 
just to simplify the, the situation or the function this line uh, here you see you can only check here uh, if you want to enable some sensor or the change the configuration but the inner uh, situations of the slang algorithm are inside each one of these launchpad. Right now I have a problem with um, cartographer. I will try to solve it on next week or probably in the next two weeks. I don't know if I could solve it. It's pretty odd because the mapping and I draw are working but uh, let's, let me check. So that's all. I hope you understand how to implement uh, the Hector Slam on your robot. Um, if you want to know more, just go to the repository and download and check the information about the robot. That's all. Thanks.